start our Goldilocks on trial. A couple things before we get started. Please, no flash photography. Please turn off all cell phone ringers so that our cast is not distracted and your other audience members aren't either. Before I go any further, I wanted to recognize my co-director for the lottery, Mason Greider, a student here at NBCP. Come on up, Mason. Don't be shy. <laughs> He was doing it. He worked tirelessly with actors in small scenes. Whenever they were off stage, they were working with him. So I couldn't have done it without him. He's a great student, and I just wanted to recognize him. So another round of applause. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Is 
the most horrible, awful, nasty criminal on the face of the earth. She ruthlessly and with wanton disregard for the law broke into the house of an innocent and lovable family of bears. <laughs> Holy crap, this day, that family of bears remains shattered and distraught by this tragedy. It is your solemn duty to make sure that rotten criminals like Gold Walks can never threaten peaceful bears or any animal again. I ask you to find Gold Walks guilty of breaking and entering so we can lock her up behind bars for the rest of her life. Well, I didn't understand a word you said, and it was pretty boring too. Maybe the defense lawyer, Mr. Wombat, can be better. Wombat, go. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of oh, jury, I know we have all heard and read a great deal about this case. We have watched your report, the newspaper account, read the book, seen the movie, searched the country, listen, listen to the CD. But today, you hear a true story of going on. In that story of this criminal, Ferrer said killed an innocent girl accused her of crimes she did not commit. A crime she could not commit because she is the sweetest, most lovable, most wonderful girl in the whole world. And after hearing our testimony in this test paycheck, I hope you pair not guilty of it. Well, that wasn't any better than the first one. Bailiff, what are we going to see some action around here? Only about three pages. Good. <laughs> Wake me up when it's time. Miss Oppenheim, you may call your first witness. The people call Mr. Bear to the stand. Call the bear to the stand? <laughs> Repeat after me. I do hereby solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and not tell any tales, or else I'll get in real big trouble and not have any dessert forever and ever. <laughs> All right, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Bear, I know this has been a terrible ordeal for you. Oh, it has, it has, and no one will ever know what I've had to go through. The horror, the horror. <laughs> Thank you, Paul Bear. You may stay. 
sat down. I have no further questions for you. <gasps> Mr. Wombat, am I to understand that you have no further questions of this witness? No, you are. Bracey, I have some past witness that prove you that Popper is a liar. You can't call me a liar. I'll sue you, you shyster. Order, order. Very well. You may step down, Mr. Bear. Mr. Wombat, you may call your first witness. Thank you, y'all. The defense calls this in, Miss Baby Bear. Do you swear to tell the truth, and in that telling of the truth, not to tell anything that can be misconstrued in as the truth, or any proximity thereof, so help yourself? As if. Miss Bear, I prefer Ms. Bear, and please don't refer me as Baby. I use the name Tiffany. That's a two I. Yes, well, Miss Tiffany. Did you hear your father? Mr. Bear's testimony as to the event of the alleged break-in, and do you in fact concur us his account of which said event? Huh? Will your father say it's true or not? No, it's lies, I tell you, it's all lies. It never happened that way. <gasps> order, order, order in this court. <laughs> <laughs> trash is starting to stink. That's not the trash. That's your breakfast. Oh no, not porridge. <laughs> Daddy, stop having a cow. All the kids at school think you're some kind of weirdo. <laughs> but I hate porridge. Why do we have to have porridge? Because it was your turn to make breakfast and you overslept again. Why was it my turn to make breakfast? I told you yesterday. I had a big meeting with the client today. And you have to take baby. Mother, I'm not a baby. Please call me Tip Ani. You have to take the Tip Ani to the mall to, to buy a prom dress. I hate the mall. Well, too bad. You're going to have to take her anyway. Now have some breakfast. I have to be at the suburb by 7, and traffic is miserable this morning. I hate porridge. Why can't we have some bacon or sausage? Or ham, or a nice steak and some fried eggs. <laughs> Daddy, you know I'm a vegetarian. You, I don't believe in eating animals. You're a bear. That's what bears do. We eat animals. Daddy, you're not. Anyway, Papa, you know what Dr. Prostate said about your cholesterol. Poor just fat free has a lot of fiber for you know what. Now let's all sit down. <clears throat> Ah, it's too hot. How many times have I told you how to cook it in the microwave? My ass don't call and how many times have I asked you to fix that thing? Baby, I mean tough Bonnie, how's yours? Mom, I can't eat. I'll get too fat. But sweetie, you have to eat something. Mother. Oh, for the love of Mike, can't we just cook some leftover pizza? Yes, sir. That's what really happened that morning? No, it's lies, I tell you. It's all lies. She's just mad I wouldn't let her buy the prom dress she wanted because it was too short. It's not too short. All the girls are wearing them to prom. Maybe, but they ain't gonna go to no prom. Woo! Order, order. Okay, Kayla. Does this have anything to do with blocks? I don't believe so. Okay, knock it off, you two. Miss Baby Bear, you can step down. My name is Tiffany. Muffinhead, call your next witness. Um, don't I get to cross and bear the baby? Nah, I read that part of the script. It's boring. Move on. Okay. <laughs> Did you call Dr. Clark? <laughs> Chief Inspector, something something Clark. Do you swear that you are not now, nor have you ever been some type of bad liar guy or some other stinky thing until that threw us apart? Sure, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> now, Officer Clark, will 
station and what your duties are? Certainly. I am the police station of the 15th precinct, which is located in the Enchanted Forest just north of the Magic Castle. I am in charge of investigating all crimes involving dragons, evil sorcerers, fairy godmothers, talking animals, and professional athletes. And can you tell the jury what happened on the morning of March 24th? I was returning to the precinct after investigating a report of a wolf across the river prairie carrying goodies that I passed as a the three bears. At that point, I heard a great commotion. Help! Help! It's the communists! It's the communists! Call 911! Call the Marines! Call the Air Force! Call Oprah! Calm yourself, <laughs> Well, Mr. Pig, who did not be eaten by the wolf? 
Can you tell the jury what happened the night just before the break-in took place? Sure. <coughs> Yeah, she's here. 